Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. A fuel filter is a small engine component normally located inside the fuel tank or attached to it. Inside a fuel supply line, or as part of the supply line assembly, the filter is designed to strain the fuel before it reaches the carburetor to prevent foreign particles from clogging the engine. The residue that results from old fuel being left in the tank can significantly reduce the filter's ability to properly strain the fuel. This is why you should always use fresh fuel when filling the tank and a fuel stabilizer to help maintain the quality of the fuel. For better stability on two cycle engines, you can often use a pre-mixed fuel and oil product that is ethanol free. Fuel filters can be found on most lawn and garden equipment that use small engines to operate, from mowers and snow blowers to handheld products like chainsaws, leaf blowers, and string trimmers. Over time, the fuel filter can become clogged with residue, which may cause the engine to stall, run rough, or not start at all. Fuel filters are usually unique to each product type and will often vary depending on the model. You should enter the full model number of your equipment or engine in our website search bar to find the specific fuel filter you need. Before you replace the fuel filter, make sure the equipment's engine has cooled. We also recommend there be little or no fuel in the tank. If the filter is located inside the equipment's fuel tank, unthread the cap and pull the cap retainer free, if applicable. You can use a wire with a hook to pull out the fuel supply line and filter. Release the retaining spring or clamp, then pull the old filter off of the fuel line. Install the new fuel filter by inserting it into the fuel line, then secure it with the retaining spring or clamp. Insert the fuel line and filter into the tank, making sure there are no restrictions in the line. If applicable, reinsert the fuel cap retainer into the tank, then thread on the cap. On some models, the fuel filter may be part of a fuel line kit. To reach the fuel lines, you may need to remove the air filter housing or a carburetor cover. If necessary, remove the fuel tank cap. Note the orientation of the fuel lines attached to the carburetor, then detach them. If required, you can use a flathead screwdriver to push the fuel line retaining grommet into the tank. Then use a wire with a hook to remove the fuel line assembly through the fill spout. You may be able to pry the grommet outward to fully remove the fuel line assembly. When installing the new assembly, apply a small amount of oil to the grommet. Then insert the fuel filter into the tank and push the grommet into place. Attach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. Replace the fuel tank cap if necessary. If required, replace the air filter housing or the carburetor cover.
Depending on the equipment, the fuel filter may be threaded into the bottom of the fuel tank, requiring the tank to be removed to reach the filter. To uninstall the tank, you will probably need to remove an engine cover, along with other shields or trim. Unthread the screws securing the tank to the engine. Release the clamps securing the fuel line to the filter and you can unthread the old filter from the tank. Before you install the new fuel filter, you may need to transfer an O-ring from the old filter to the new one. Thread the new filter into the tank and tighten. Then attach the fuel line. Reinstall the tank. Replace any shields or trim as necessary, along with the engine cover. On some equipment, the fuel filter may be part of the fuel supply line or inside it. You may need to remove a carburetor cover and the air filter housing to reach the fuel line. You can use pinch clamps to crimp the fuel line between the tank and the filter to prevent fuel spillage. Release the retaining clamp or clamps securing the fuel line and you can remove the old filter. As required, attach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports of the new filter or insert the filter directly into the fuel line. With the fuel line or lines attached, secure them with the retaining clamp or clamps. Remove the pinch clamps if necessary. Replace the air filter housing and the carburetor cover as required. Refill the fuel tank and your lawn and garden equipment should be ready for use.